Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Google Nexus 7 tablet, and I want to show you the Google Play Bookstore. And the reason we're taking a quick look at this is because Google recently updated it with a couple of nice new features. Um, so we're going to open up Great Expectations here, free public domain book, and you can now double tap to zoom or pinch to zoom. So that should make it easier to uh, navigate text in certain books. And even more exciting is there's a new read aloud feature here, which will actually use the text-to-speech engine built into Android to read the book to you. Now, using the default voice, it sounds sort of like your GPS system reading to you. Chapter I, my father's family name being Pirip, and my Christian name Philip, my infant tongue could make of both names nothing longer or more explicit than Pip, so I... So it's not the most exciting thing that you've ever heard, but uh, one of the nice things about Google Android is that it supports third-party uh, text-to-speech tools. So I've installed one here called Ivona, and I've downloaded a nice little British voice, which works well for Dickens, and we can hear what it sounds like. I'm British English Ivona voice. And now let's go back to Google Play Books, open the same book, and try again. Chapter 1, my father's family name being Pirip, and my Christian name Philip. My infant tongue could make of both names nothing longer or more explicit than Pip, so I called myself Pip, and came to be called Pip. I give... So, uh, there you go. It sounds much better. Now, the, um, you know, it's not quite as good as a professionally narrated audiobook, of course, and this isn't the only... Uh, ebook app available for Android that supports text to speech. You can also use the FB Reader application, which has a speak. About FB Reader 1.6.8. FB Reader. Uh, and there's another application called Cool Reader, which I also like. Um, so there are other apps that work, and you can load, you know, third party books into those, whereas Google Play Books doesn't allow you to uh, load up your own titles. But if you've purchased any books or downloaded public domain books from Google Play, uh, the Google Play Store, the Google Books app now allows you to uh, use this text-to-speech recognition to read them out loud, which can come in handy if you want to sort of keep your place in books across various devices uh, while listening to it and then reading it and then listening to it. Let's you listen to a book in the car or on the train or somewhere else where you might not want to pull it out and uh, pull out your Android device and read it, um, but then you can pick up right where you left off because it does synchronize your progress. So anyways, that's a pretty nifty update to the Google Play Books app, and I just wanted to give you a, a quick overview of how it works and how it sounds. This is Brad Linder at Lilliputing.com.